<coughs> All right. So we starting here. Okay, how's everybody doing? My name is Z Manzilla, and uh, I am just gonna real quick do some testing of the right here before I get fully started with what it is I plan on doing. All right, let's go to my channel here. All right, says I'm drawing. Very good. Okay, and uh, let's open up the live chat. So it says live stream offline. That seems uh, suspect. What's going on with that? It says I'm streaming. What's going on there? Let's try it again. All right. How's the audio sounding? Oh, there we go. Okay, wonderful. All right. Oh, doggone it. Come on. All right, there we are. Open up the live chat. And there's a Lou Milad. How you doing today? Just getting one more test of the audio here. There's we good. There we go. Okay, how's everybody hearing me? Hopefully well. I hope you can hear me because I want to be heard. All right. And, of course, my, my viewer count keeps going in and out like crippity crazy. So, I guess we'll be reviewing this later <laughs> to see what the Dilly Dally Doe is here. Okay. So, let's just double check, make sure everything is okay. Going in and out. Okay, there we go. Yeah, audio appears to be working. So, I'm streaming. According to this, I'm streaming, so... There we go. Okay, well, how's everybody doing? My name is Emanzilla, and I'm going to be spending probably about the next hour or so drawing Psychotron. Now, as some of you know, I've uh, been commissioned uh, to draw Psychotron. I've been having some equipment issues for quite some time. That's uh, been really vexing me, but I think, don't quote me on this, tonight is actually kind of a test here to see if I've actually nipped those issues in the bud. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get started here. Just to make sure. Now, um, first things first, I gotta make sure I can see all my stuff so that I can more effectively do the thing that I came here to do. Uh, meanwhile, let's, uh, how, how much smaller can we get this window? Not much smaller as it turns out. So, we're just gonna work with it. <laughs> uh, so, how's everybody doing? Anybody that can hear me, please feel free to say hey ho and uh, if you can't hear me, I'll just, uh, it's weird that it's not even registering me as a viewer. That's uh, unusual. So just go ahead and, David Alcaraz, how you doing? I just um, refreshed my window here. Hopefully that's not going to be an issue. So how's it going? Good to see you. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm in the process right now. Uh, for those that are wondering, I uh, let's go ahead and just take a quick Reminder look of where I'm at with the progress here. We've already drawn, got pretty much completed the JR Crash model here. And uh, we are currently working on the inks for Psychotron. That's this layer right here. And, of course, it's going to come in behind the JR Crash dude. But uh, for now, we're just kind of, you know, doing our thing. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, lose that model for now. And concentrate on... Finishing up the inks for himself here, Mr. Psychotron. So, and of course, while I'm here, if anybody has any questions about anything, including uh, doing, you know, getting their own work commissioned, that sort of thing, I'm here to answer that. Uh, and, um, you know, just anything else you want to talk about, really. I mean, I'm, I've had a pretty interesting week here. So, I mean, we got to do, uh, I got to review a bunch of snap maps. That was a lot of fun. And uh, as always, <laughs> and I also got to um, uh, do it. Today was the day where we did the the fun times with the uh, uh, the the snapshot challenge. That was a whole lot of fun. Let's go ahead and get ourselves, I guess, a three here and see if. Uh, oh, naturally, high CPU has been detected, so that may experience some issues, according to this. So. So not all of the issues were addressed, apparently, by the work I just did. So that's, we're off to a rip and start here. Which kind of sucks. So, 
Uh, to top it all off, I'm not really crazy about that line width here. Let's try a 5 here and maybe zoom in just a skosh. I said I want to zoom in just a skosh. I mentioned lately how much I hate using GIMP. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is, I suppose. Yeah. But yeah, so... Just got to take our time, I suppose, while we're doing our line-based shades here, which I don't even know why I'm so insistent on this stuff, because I'm going to be doing most of my shades with the color anyway. I think part of it is just having a consistency to the art style. Alright, so. And, uh. There we go. Just getting a little shade work in there, just to, just to have it, I think. Alright, and, uh. You know, I got joints going on on these fingers. I should probably continue that trend. Is this going to be the. Yeah, why not? There we go. There we are. And... No, that's not right. There we go. Oh, and uh, JR Crash, if you're watching this, uh, Bopkins, if you're watching this, uh, there's your fifth finger. <laughs> it appears during the sketch process that I forgot to add a fifth finger. And uh, I've done that now. So there, there you have it. There's your there's finger number five. Thus assuring that Psychotron can indeed flip you off. It's an important skill for any villain to have. You need to be able to flip off the heroes. You know, often behind their back. Most people don't know this about Skeletor, but man, did he like to flip He-Man off when He-Man wasn't looking. That was, uh... They didn't really make it part of the show too much, because it was for kids. But, there we are. And then uh, get some some of that nice cross action going on there with the shading. That'll work. And all right. And we want some extra shade action going on here. Really get that line work going real nice like. Okay. Maybe a little extra here. Just get it gradiating nice and good there. Good and nice. Peaches and cream. So, you know, one of the things I was thinking about is the um with the snapshot challenge, I'm not 100% sold yet on the format of it. I mean, it's still in its early stages, and if I need to make changes to the format, now's a good time. Well, that's nice. Here I am going live, and now somebody else is going live. And um, let me just check something here. Refresh that chat. There we go. Yeah, it's working. Okay. So, um, but yeah, I'm still experimenting with the format of it. You know, it's not, uh, I'm still, you know, like I, I get the feeling like there's, I, I, I don't know entirely if I'm doing the right thing with it yet, you know. I mean, uh, somebody was saying at one point that um, they would, they would uh, maybe like to see me do like full, uh, like put the full plays on my channel. And so one of the reasons I've been doing things the way I do them is because YouTube has been a bit of a weenie wipe about um, the way they've been handling things with their content creators, making things you know very difficult for us for a variety of reasons, some which they share, others which they sort of keep to themselves, and all of which are just kind of a pain in the keister. And then for a while there, we were all like, well, we'll just go to VidMe, and then we discovered that VidMe just doesn't have the user base to really support anything we're trying to do. Doggone it. There's that use, high usage detected again. So, okay. But it goes away quicker now, which is nice. I can't decide if this is just a problem with GIMP or just my computer in general. It's probably my computer in general. My computer sucks. 
but it is what it is. So, man, if anybody has any thoughts about how I can address the issues I've been having with um, with the format of the snapshot challenge, how you would prefer to see it run, by all means, let me know, and I'll see if I can work out sort of a compromise in all of that. So, okay. I mean, definitely, you would think this would be all shaded up, but... There we go. That'll do it, I think. Alright, and then, uh... Just a little bit here, I think. Just to give the fingers a little bit of edge. Then fingers is edge lords. Yeah. So... So that's one thing I've been thinking about, is uh, how to handle that. The other thing I've been uh, thinking about quite a bit is that um, I really want to start adding some more content to my, my, my YouTube. I mean, as much problem, as many problems as I've been having, I realize that some of those problems are rooted in the fact that I really do like Doom, you know? And so it's like a real struggle for me to find things that I can stream that aren't Doom. Or not stream, but uh, put on YouTube you know so I keep thinking about like sort of things I can put on YouTube that aren't going to get me slapped for you know limited to no view uh, uh, advertisers or whatever you know so I'm trying to think about what to do there you know it's, uh, these are not easy questions to answer but uh, there you have it and go that will do okay now with our new improved five finger hand uh, boy I'm really gonna have to do some some work on the color there to really sell that that's that's arm and not more hand over there because that boy does that look weird while it's in black and white right now but still okay There we go. And then uh maybe two 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 some of that action there to really get that palm looking spiffy. There we go. There we go. All right, let's see here. What's next on the old drawing stuff thing here? I should probably get the rest of this hand done over here, huh? Yeah, it's, uh, it's like Cyclotron got him two hands. Man, I really want to get this done so I can do some color work. So, let's, uh... And then, uh... Oopsie. Yeah, so. Okay. And, uh, you get in there with a little of that. Hmm. Oh, kind of fat fingered that fat finger there, didn't I? Okay. Well. Okay, so then we... Oh, dear lord, okay. Okay, not sure why that keeps kind of curving out like that. Should not be curving out like that. Should not be curving out like that. Uh-uh, doobadoo. Okay. And shut up, Mr. High CPU usage indicator. All right. Okay. All 
Oh boy. Okay. Let's just back right on up here. So maybe if we start at this end. Like, I really did sort of make that finger too long. And what's with the jerky jerk there? What's going on? See, one of the tech problems I was having, duck on it, is, and, and it's sort of still happening now, but not as bad as it was before, is sometimes just suddenly and without warning, the pad would just decide, no, we're just done detecting you for now, and then uh, and then it'll start detecting again, and it would just do weird things to my lines. And having to redraw the same line several times, or even worse, kind of getting a line right where I wanted it to, only for it to do that stupid thing. So frustrating. I mean, literally painfully frustrating at times. All right, and then... Okay, that is not how fingers work. I don't care what Rob Liefeld says. Okay. There we go. That's a little closer to what I'm trying to do, but we are still way off. Oh, boy. All right. Let's try to start from the bottom first. All right, it's a better match for the other finger, at least, although it's, it is kind of making that center finger look off. Um, Zanion, how you doing today? Good to see you. Just uh, doing some drawing here. Uh, let's see. That's a little closer to what I'm trying to accomplish. Wonderful. Okay. And finally, finger number five, which I left out of the original sketch, so I have to kind of fudge. There you go. Yeah. I kind of life felted that hand up a little bit, but it works. I mean, it'll, it'll all compose together better once it's... Uh, all right, we're a little over there. Yeah. Here we are. Go down a little further here. Fine now, after a little bad mood I got for making that map request in the worst time possible. <laughs> well, I'm very sorry to hear that. Uh, I, I, like I said, I wasn't trying to be nasty or nothing like that. I do. Um, it, yeah, I mean, I, there was really no... I, like, it was hard for me to kind of say what it was I was trying to say without it coming off as being kind of rude or snotty and uh, you know what the the crux of the matter was is you know it's not that I, I didn't want to play it or try it out it's uh, just that uh, I was sort of at the end of my broadcast time there and uh, had many things to do and things to deal with but you know it's all water under the bridge man you know you know yeah uh, Hope I didn't uh, ruin your day, you know. Yeah, you know. But uh, yeah, I can give you sort of like my opinion, generally speaking, about maps of that nature. Uh, maybe save you some time and trouble. Um, I am not. I, like people have told me stories, I, I I was not involved in the snap or in the the Doom Wad community during the infamous Terry Wad uh, era uh, when like Terry Wads were a thing, but I've been told stories about Terry Wads and just sort of from the sort of gist of what it is you're trying to do, it sounds like you're trying to do sort of the snap map equivalent of a of a Terry Wad. And, you know, from what I understand about them, 
they are more fun to make than they are to play <laughs> you know <clears throat> and sort of the general idea of them is to be sort of as ridiculously over the top you know horrible as possible to you know and the joke is that they're frustrating but i mean I don't know. Like, I, I have yet to play a, a frust... I mean, I, I think the point of a frustration map is literally that the person playing them is not going to enjoy them. And, you know, I mean, it, so, but there's... The, but ironically, I guess, there's, like, sort of a subset of people that enjoy maps that they can't enjoy or something. And it's not it's not really a design philosophy I get behind. I mean, I kind of get the joke. And sometimes there's a there's an element of parody involved. Like Clown Slay did a map for me once called Spite. And I mean, the, the idea behind it was that he was trying to do a bunch of stuff that I've specifically that I specifically pointed out on my streams all the time that I don't like. And like he was, you know, th so like there was this specific targeted thing that was going on there. And it's sort of it, the whole thing came off as satire, you know. It just came off as directed satire, and I kind of, I, you know, and for that reason, I was able to kind of get into the joke of it. Um, just sort of like generic here, let's do a thousand things that are going to annoy the player. Sort of, you know, sort of. It, it just, I, I don't, I don't get it. You know, like it's, it's kind of a thing I don't get. But um, any sign of pastel? Uh, no, no. I think he is keeping his distance. <coughs> Terry Watts still exists to this day, and no man, they are traps and play through. They feel they play nice, but then they suddenly do something to mess your game config suddenly. Oh. What's going on, Captain Falcon? Uh, it's good to see you. Thank you very much for showing up. Um, <coughs> so, okay, so yeah, so Terry Wads are basically just traps. I mean, so, okay, so maybe your, your map's not a Terry Wad. I mean, what, uh, but it, 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 what it is is, is sort of a, a, a deliberate attempt to create a map that's meant to be sort of an annoying experience and you know while i get that i mean it's it's, it's i don't know you know like i i wouldn't know how to feedback something like that i i feel weird saying to somebody well this map annoyed the crap out of me um so i guess great job you know like i <laughs> you know it's one of those things where it's like how do i i, I you know I mean, if that's the feedback you're looking for, great, you know, like, yes, certainly indeed, like, that that first minute and a half that I played certainly annoyed the crap out of me, you know, like, I was certainly annoyed, and if the goal of the map was to, you know, tolerate that that sort of, that, that sort of thing for as long as possible, then, you know, fair cop, I lost, you know, <laughs> you know. Um, I mean, I suppose when I had more patience later, I could try to go back and play more of it, but, you know, I mean, I, 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 I have to tell you right now, I'd, I'd, I'd be, I would be more, I would only be doing it for the purposes of giving you the feedback that you feel you need. So, I mean, I'd want to know sort of what sort of feedback you'd be looking for on an experience like that, and if, if the answer to that is, well, I'm, I'm hoping to annoy the crap out of you, Zilla, I'd be like, well... Mm, why but i mean okay but why you know <laughs> like i uh you know i don't particularly want to be annoyed you know <laughs> like i uh but i mean if it, if it is to it, it, on the other hand on the other hand if your if your goal in feedback is to get sort of a general idea of finding that fine line between humor and um humor and legitimately obnoxious then I could say, okay, well, these are the parts that I was just legitimately, that I legitimately found funny versus these are the parts I found uh, just too obnoxious to even be a joke, that sort of thing. You know, if that was the feedback you, you were looking for, then I, I feel like I could go into it and go, well, okay, I can, I can work with that, you know, <laughs> like, um, I think, for example, one of the things I would cite, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to zoom in on that, aren't I? <clears throat> Forgot to tag that map as Super Meat Boy. I want to be the guy. It is a map meant for player to think in the next step. Otherwise, you get killed. Um, so, I mean, if you're trying to do like a Super Meat Boy thing, one of the things with Super Meat Boy is that uh, it's... <coughs> and, I mean, I don't know if I, don't want, I want to be the guy. I do know from playing Super Meat Boy that, you know, it's, it's, it's ridiculously hard, but the clues are all there to, you know, to help you finish it. You know, like you... The, the clues are there and it's just a matter of sort of getting the idea of what it you know sort of eh, duck on it um sort of the idea of what it is you have to do to pass the map you know um you know and so 
I mean, I feel like from that perspective, you sort of, um, you you had a misstep from square one because the the you had to give me a hint to tell me that I had to shoot one of the lasers. Now, if you notice from my playthrough, I already shot one of the lasers and nothing happened. And so it, it, you know, like what happens there is you end up with this situation where, you know, there'll be folks that'll kind of go, okay, well, is the map broken? You know, but nobody's going to, you know, it's, it's, or I won't say nobody, but it's not likely that a player it has a natural instinct to sit there and meticulously shoot every one of those lasers to maybe find the one that has a, a, a trigger to it. So I feel like um, maybe some form of player messaging there would have been helpful you know like even if, even if your point is to try to annoy and frustrate there there still has to be some sort of guidance happening you know uh you know and you really you got it you're, you're balancing a fine line between you know um you know fun frustrating and just frustrating frustrating you know uh and so with that in mind I'd, I'd, my advice to you there is if that's you know, if that's going to be a necessary step to get by that thing, then some sort of, even if it's like just tiny, you know, like just, uh, but something, something to indicate that this is, you know, this is the laser. It's something to do with this laser. You need to shoot it, you know? Um, but I mean, you know, to, to, to cause you know, one of the things that's going to happen is people are going to get stuck at that part and think the map is, you know, either the map is legit broken or, you know, they're just like, okay, you know, uh, the, the time I'm spending trying to solve this puzzle is time I could be spending p playing another map, you know, like it, you know, there's, that's the other thing to consider as well. It is needing more information. Decals should solve most of those problems. Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, de decaling is your friend in this case, you know, any sort of like visual indicator. Um, th the same goes for that little thing where like the, the bombs pop up afterwards, like, um, like, I'm, I'm not even sure if that was avoidable. Now, I will say that the map looks like it's set up for a trial and error approach. I, I, think, that's, I think that's good. I mean, it, you know, the idea that the, the player always sort of defaults to start is fine. And, you know, or that, there's a, that, that it, it, it will be fine for a trial and error approach. You know, the idea that the player isn't going to die at all is good. Um, so, I mean, with that in mind, though, there's still going to be just a slight element of something needs to be in there as a cookie to kind of keep the player's interest going. And I mean, even, like it's all, it's all about, again, it's all about finding that balance between legitimately frustrating and fun frustrating, you know? And why is this not? There we go. It's not an easy balance to find, but, uh, a lot of the key to it is going to be um, how you handle player messaging. So, there we go. All right, so I got that arm down, Pat. I think. I mean, it exists. So, all right, and then uh, let's just go ahead and add just an indicator of a thumb right here. Get out our five brush. And uh, add a joint. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, it, 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 I'm not saying it can't be done. You know, I think I think it can be done. Um, uh, but uh, you know, it, it, if we're looking at it in the spirit of you are trying to do that, then yeah, let me let me take a look at it next week when I'm not quite so uh, post stream grumpy, <laughs> and uh, we'll take it from there. Um, you know. And actually, like you, you suggested having us do it during the, um, having us doing it dur during the multiplayer session, which you know I can imagine. Like I mean, I I try to be as reserved as possible with my with my um, uh, <laughs> with my reactions. I can imagine Psycho Knight's reactions right off the bat are going to be like uh, equal parts angry and hilarious. But I mean, you know, I mean th that's the thing. I'm going to have to check in with him and see if that's an experience he's down to have. You know. It's like, hey, here's a here's a here's a map that it's gonna in induce a little bit of rage, you know. <laughs> Are you down for that, you know? And see if he's actually kind of down with that first. I, you know, it's just a responsible thing to do. I don't want to drag him into it. And uh, of course, 
I think Alu is uh, Alumilad. I think is also interested in doing multiplayer with me again, so I can check with him as well and see if that's an experience he's down to have. And go from there. And there's that high usage indicator again, which is going to just keep annoying the cribbity crowd out of me. All right, there, 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 there we go. Uh. If SnapMap is cross-platform, is co-op? No, the co-op, unfortunately, is not cross-platform. Uh, you do have to have the same... Uh, you do have the same... You have to have the same platform as people you want to play with. So, uh, basically, the only people that can... Um, the only people that can multiplay with me are uh, folks that have X-Bones. It's completely fine, though. Bad for my part, to be honest. I published it in kind of premature form. Yeah, but, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, it, 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 like, you saw that... I, I, th I had a feeling what happened was that you saw that Drakaya posted a work in progress. And you saw, oh, hey, Zill is not immediately... He doesn't immediately poop on works in progress. And it's like, you know, and, which is true. You know, I mean, Liz shows me works in progress from time to time. Void Runner does. Um... And uh, of course, Drakaya. You know, I don't. I have no problem wor looking at things that are work in progress and helping people sort of find their guidance. And uh, part of the, I think part of the thing I got to stipulate with that going forward is that you know the probably the project should at least be in some sort of a late alpha or early beta state, like uh, before I start uh, poking in. And I realize there's there's folks that want direction. I what I'm trying to avoid is um, th there's one user in particular right now. Uh, I believe it's Ornstein7. And um, I, I like where I like the direction Ornstein7 is taking with his maps. Um, what I'm not crazy about uh, with Ornstein7, and I'm not trying to, like, you know, rag on people or anything of that nature, um, but, you know, sort of what's kind of got my goat with that whole situation is that uh, Ornstein7 asks a lot of questions that, um, I feel would not have to be asked if you simply played more snap map, you know, and you know, it's, it's sort of, um, I don't know. It's, 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 n I, I don't, I, I'm not going to sit here and like use the old, Oh, it's a waste of my time thing. Cause really, honestly, if I'm helping other members of the snap map community, my time is not wasted. That said, you know, I, I want to be available to help as many people as possible. And the sort of help that I provide has a lot to do with sort of my experience in programming and uh, testing and all the stuff I'd, I've done professionally and all that. And I want to make sure that I'm, I'm leaving access to people for that knowledge. And so if I'm taking an extra amount of time giving, giving out knowledge that is... You know, I, I, again, I don't want to use like terms like "oh, beneath me" or anything like that. It's not. It's not that it's beneath me. It's that the, a lot of the questions he's asking are is for information one can get from so many other sources, which include, you know, like for instance, Plasma has done a lot of great vi tutorial videos. DirectX uh, 231 has done a lot of great videos, and you know, uh, who else? Um, there was one guy that uh, I I watched a video from that taught me all about. Um, uh, how to do uh, a really great system for doing checkpoints. And it's like, you know, there's all these people out there doing these tutorials. It's like, you know, so to ask me to create a new tutorial to teach you something that's already in other tutorials just feels, you know, like not 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 the most constructive use of my time. So, you know. The drawing almost reminds me of Callus from Destiny 2. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'm... Uh, uh, I mean, I got to credit J.R. Crash for a lot of this here. You know, he's got uh, he, he's a, he's the guy that designed Psychotron, so you know. But um, but yeah, like I said, I, I'm not mad about it. I'm just like I, I I think part of what I need to start doing though is teaching people, you know, sort of how to find the information they need. You know, and and again, and then there's other information where it's like you know. Um, you know, dude, just play, you know, play other people's maps and uh, you will learn from playing their maps. Um, I mean, like, you know, perfect example, things with uh, teleporters and stuff. It's like I, pretty much everything I know about like spawn effects and teleporters and stuff. I learned from a combination of, uh, you know, uh, you know, just sort of opening up other people's snap maps after playing them and studying their logics and, um, and then, of course, this has to 
because the way his heart works is actually like two pieces of gore sort of stuck together. But um, but yeah, it was just like a combination of, you know, I would play somebody else's snap map and kind of want to figure out what they did. And then if there was something about that their technique I didn't like, I would do an experiment to see if I could improve on the technique. You know. And, you know. And, you know, and, and then at the end of the day, if I really needed to know how something worked, I would just search out a, a an existing tutorial. There's already a lot of great tutorials out there, you know. But, you know, it's just... So I think what's uh, going to happen as well is like for for um, for for other snap map stuff. I think what I need to do is um, sort of put more uh, I don't know emphasis, I guess, on uh, sort of like the information I need before I can give people good feedback. Like one thing I've been noticing, I I, I'll, I say a lot in my. Um, uh, let me see some. You make it look more detailed because Doom has its limits of props. Have you added any notable details that you changed from Psychotron? Um, actually, no. In fact, I, I would say that I'm actually sort of fudging a lot of the details here. Like I'm, like I'm going to be adding like a whole block of shadow behind here. Like I'm not even going to sit there and like draw the details from that. I'm actually sort of drawing less detail in the picture than is actually in the actual Psychotron. But that's just because I can cheat it with shadows and stuff. But, um, you know, but yeah, like one of the things I keep asking people to do is, oh my goodness, that I just realized how, how non-symmetrical that is there. I mean, not that this matters, most of it's going to be behind the characters anyway, but, um, like one of the things I keep asking people to do is like, oh yeah, when you ask me for a review, could you please put a brief description of your map, you know, and part of the reason I do that is because I want to understand what type of feedback people are looking for because everybody makes maps differently everybody has different goals in mind and so for me to sit like I, it, it, it stings me when I like I sit there and I do a, a review uh, like this this used to happen like more often when I would post reviews to, to YouTube I would do a review I would uh, you know somebody would ask me for a review I do the review and then they'd sit there, and that's when they wanted to start explaining to me what they were trying to do with their map. And it's like, um, yeah, but if you explained that that's what you were trying to do in your map, you know, with a brief description, like I like I asked you to, I would have known that, and like my feedback would have accounted for that. You know, like if you're just asking me for general feedback, I'll tell you what I think. You know, but if it's like, you know, for for somebody to come at me like way after the fact and be like, it was supposed to be a survival horror experience, you idiot, and it's like. Well, you know, then, you know, maybe let me know it was supposed to be a survival horror experience and I won't complain about the lack of ammo, you know, <laughs> like in the extreme darkness, you know. So, that sort of thing. So I think, you know, just going forward, I want to make sure people are... I, I, I really want to sort of reinforce the idea that people should be telling me, you know, what it is they're 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 aiming to do with their maps, you know. I'm not a mind reader, you know. <laughs> I can't beat Psychotron. One day I will. Dude, keep practicing, man. Here's the thing is, um, there's tricks to it. Like, first of all, every time you fire that, uh, like, okay, so I would actually, um, yeah, that, that actually, though, that video won't help you because it's a scoring strategy video, but um, the key to beating Psychotron, uh, first, I mean, one of the problems, of course, is avoiding death, but um, the key, the real key to beating Psychotron is knowing uh, when you gotta just uh, like back off and use like large scale stuff. So, like for the first part, um, it gets a little nuts. Like it, your your goal is you're trying to build your score up, you know. So y if you die at all during the first uh, wave, you know during the first part of Psychotron, my advice to you is to just restart. You know. <laughs> You need to start from a, a solid base because every time you die, your score goes back to zero. But the longer you stay alive and the more points you rack up, um, the the quicker you'll level up. And that you can actually like if you if you get enough glory kills in and and you do your kills carefully enough and do not use the airstrikes. 
Like I, 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 I hate to say this because it's a really creative feature that he added, but honestly, the airstrikes um, do more harm than good when you're trying to level up. But you don't use the airstrikes. You just I, I don't even take them, so I can't even set them off by accident. Um, you know, but don't use airstrikes. Uh, and then what you do is you just very carefully rack up a ton of points during that first round using every method possible for racking up points. You know, you see a berserk, get in there and get some glory kills. You see, you know, you, know, you got your rockets, you get in there and you shoot a bunch of dudes. But, you know, be careful, keep your distance, and get those points. Because by the time you get to the second part, you should have the speed and health you need to survive by that point. And then from there, you just got to just do the Blitzkrieg thing. You focus on one enemy at a time, you know, get in there, kill them, get some health, get out. And then eventually what ends up happening is you end up with enough health where, and enough, uh, you end up with enough health and enough speed where zooming in to get a glory kill on somebody, you know, between the health you get from it and the, um, between the health you get from it and the immunity you get while you're doing a glory kill, you know, you end up just being virtually invulnerable. You know, like it's it's not impossible to kill you, but it's 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 not t tough. And then the other key, of course, is when you get to that second area, there's a secret armory you got to get. So you know, watch people's videos and figure out where that is. So, Psycho Knight One Four One, how you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Um, just uh, doing some some shadow work here on Psychotron. You still upload reviews to YouTube, or do you only stream them? So I'm I'm wrestling with that right now. For uh, what I wanted to do, because again, YouTube is a bunch of weenie wipes, is I wanted to like start directing people to the reviews as they are on Twitch. You know what I do is I that's why the Snap Map Top Five is the way it is. I can do one YouTube video a week that has links to all of the reviews I did that week, and then people can just click on the links to go see the reviews, and. I, I think it works for me, but I don't know how it works for anyone else because nobody gives me any feedback on it. Um, you know, whether or not that's a sort of a PETA for them or whatnot, you know. And so I'm just playing that by ear until I hear something from people. But, I mean, I'd, I also want to start posting more stuff to YouTube. See, here's the thing. Uh, most folks that are, are putting Doom-related stuff on YouTube are finding that it is one of the many things now that YouTube just restricts uh, ad revenue for, you know, like we're just not getting any ad revenue for that stuff anymore, or we're getting what's called limited ad revenue, gets the little yellow thing, and, you know, almost nobody wants to advertise on it, and it's really, really annoying, and those of us that are actually trying to, like, you know, at, at least, you know, if we can't make a living on it, at least, we'll, at least we can do is try to finance what it is we do. Because, you know, it, it still costs money to keep, you know, for me, it's like, you know, the, the time I spend doing the streams and stuff like that is, you know, a time I spend away from paying commissions and other projects. It's time and energy that, you know, I, I mean, I have a passion for snap maps, you know, so I, I want to spend as much time as possible doing it. So I need to be able to sort of make my money back for the time that I spend doing it. Otherwise, I can't justify doing it so much. Um, so it's like I need to be able to make ad revenue. Uh, if I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna do YouTube videos, I need to be able to make ad revenue, and YouTube's making that difficult. And you know now they're starting to also like come after people to put Patreon links in their, in their, uh, uh, in their end caps and stuff. And it's like, oh my goodness, you know. So it's so I'm trying at the f to that end. I'm trying to do more of what I do on Twitch because Twitch makes it easier for me to make my money back. So, you know. Um, doing good. Just uploaded some more character illustrations to my Facebook. Awesome. I'll have to check that out later, man. That's awesome. I can't always watch the streams because I'm usually busy. Is there ways I can always get notified when you stream? There is. Um, if you are, um, if you follow me on Twitch, you should be able to uh, set it up so that you get a notification when I'm streaming. Um, what I can also do, um, I'm supposed to be doing this more often, but I don't, is um, is posting to Twitter when I'm Twitch streaming. I need to start doing that more often. Um, and 
if all else fails, uh, I'd, yeah, Liz is probably a better person to ask that because she has, she has a notification system set up that lets lets her know when I'm streaming, and I'm not sure exactly how she does it. But I mean, even that system doesn't always work for her. I think it only works for her like once a day or some craziness or something like that. Um, but yeah, Liz knows how to do it. Uh, and then. Um, the other thing you can do is you can also watch uh, the, uh, under my video section. I, I, I keep highlights of uh, all... Why am I doing this the hard way? I could just get a bigger brush. And all right, let's try this. There we go. There we go. I can just go in and edgelord it up in here. So I don't know why I'm doing this the hard way here except to have a, just an excuse to talk to people, I guess. I'm so lonely. So, uh, but anyway, yeah. I mean, there's and then again, the other thing you can do is just watch the, the, the streams and highlights as they show up in my video section. Um, and then of course I, I, you know, whenever I do my highlights, that's uh, I just post sort of direct links as part of the Snap Map Top Five. Um, that's how I work that. Alright, okay, what's the diddle ding for there? Uh, Alright, cool, Nuclear Czar, thank you for your follow over on Twitch, I appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, yeah, follow me on Twitch, you should uh, be informed whenever I'm uh, streaming over there. And of course, love to see you over there, that would be awesome. Okay. Um, so yeah. And you know, and, and again, I, I I would love to be able to stream it on. I, that's the thing is like, I'm sort of torn. Like I, I I could be doing so much more on Twitch if my computer wasn't such a hunk of ass, you know. And I would I'd, like these streams, for example, would be so much better, regardless of where I streamed them, if my computer wasn't such a hunk of boogers, you know. Uh, you know, I could have music going, and you know could be playing fun little games on this side people could see my dip jar you know all that fun stuff just amazing you know amazing what you can do if you're actually running like a pc that you know makes you know when you're streaming with a pc is really just the the best slash only slash right way to do it in my opinion so but um that's part of the reason i uh i do these streams is to save up the money that i can use to get more streams or to get more equipment to do better streams so you know like I'd love to be able to show my face on Twitch you know get a camera for my Xbox to do that for my Xbox one I would need a, a connect and uh, you know one of the new connects uh, which I think is why I want to say it's like a 50 60 dollar thing so what I might do is make that my next goal to get one of those and uh, you know that way I can because one thing I've noticed is uh, people will have a lot more forgiveness uh, for what's going on in your stream if they can at least see you are a human being, you know? You know <laughs> like, something about having the camera there is helpful during streams. So, um, so I'm working on that. But, you know, like I said, I, I'm not asking for handouts here. A lot of it is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here and going, hey, I'll do this. See, I do artwork. I'll do artwork for you. If, you know, buy a t-shirt and That'll help me get the stuff I need to make better streams. And, and oh, hey, you know, here's uh, here's all these things I'll stream, you know. Like, lately I've been streaming Cuphead. I finally beat, uh, I beat Cuphead on normal mode, you know. And so I think with just another couple of days of practice, my, my Cuphead streams are going to be freaking awesome because I won't just be trying to beat it. I'll be actually doing, like, you know, A-plus runs and things like of that nature. Or speed, you know, maybe start doing speed runs and things like that. You know, things people actually want to watch. Because, you know, I, 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 was, uh, I was looking at streams today. Um, followed. Hopefully I'll receive notifications when you stream. Yeah, hopefully you do. And uh, be able to show up. But in any case, I... Um, uh, what is it? I mean, if you have the Twitch app on your phone, I know that... Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it does it for everybody. Or I think you can set it up so that certain people that you follow, if they go live... It'll give you a notification uh, on your on your phone, which is cool. Um, but anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, 
So I was looking at some streams today of people streaming Cuphead, and see. So I I like to like sort of look at sort of the streams that like there's only like a couple people in and see what's going on there. You know, first off, there's a ton of people streaming Cuphead right now, which should be obvious. But um, a lot of the folks streaming Cuphead right now are like doing like what I was doing, which is oh hey, it's my first play, lol, watch me suck. Nobody wants to watch me suck. You know, that was the thing. It was like even people that, like, I, nine times out of ten, it would be like, you know, the only people watching me would be like Liz, Jello Blado, and Telepoopy. And, like, those are like the, you know, I, I could tell they were charity views, honestly. Because, I mean, with Liz, I mean, Liz loves the game. So she was, you know, she was like, I could just easily be playing it right now. Why do I need to be watching you suck at it when I could be sucking at it? But, um,. You know, I also notice the the further I get in the game and the less I suck at it, the more people I can get to watch. So, Cuphead's going to be one of those games that people prefer to watch somebody play it if they're halfway decent at it. You know, and I'm getting there. You know, like I said, just beat the game. Um, I earned my first S rank last night. That was pretty cool. All right, so that's oh, that's looking groovy pants. Um, I mean, obviously, I need to get I need to get an arm in there, but uh, that's. Uh, you know, uh, actually, I could probably work that in tonight, or right now. Um, and then, uh, then I gotta shift gears, because I'm, it's my night to make dinner, so. Alright, there's that, and then, um, we'll do, like, spoof, like, yay. Alright, and that'll be... see. Shadow, shadow, shadow. But yeah, I mean, I'm uh, getting much better at it, and I'm having a lot of fun with it, which is, you know, I, li I like retro games, but I mean, there's so many games that I like that I just have a hard time sticking with on streams, like Binding of Isaac, perfect example. I love Binding of Isaac, and I'm actually pretty darn good at it. I'm not great, but I'm good. But there's two things preventing me from streaming it regularly. The first is that it's one of those games that I just don't stream as well as other people stream it. And the second is that I only have it on Xbox One, which doesn't have the Afterbirth Plus expansion. And everybody wants to, you know, they want to watch people play it with AB Plus. So it's like, if I don't have AB Plus, you know, who's going to watch me? So there we go. And, uh, We'll just do. do. You don't want uh, Psychotron to have armpit hair here. So, all right, let's uh, take a look at how we did there. Yeah, it's an arm. All right, that'll do. Okay. And then uh, maybe what I want to do is also get in there and sort of round out these ribs a little bit here. Give them a little more. Um, some shadow here. Make the ribs come out of the darkness, sort of. Alright. Ah. You see that dot 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 thing it did? It's because, like I said, in, under certain circumstances, it doesn't like to register my, my doodles here. So, there we are. Okay, but that would be awesome. So, you know, the dream, after all. You know, we're, we're not all going to be Markiplier, but, you know, I mean, keep in mind that even Markiplier wasn't Markiplier for a long time, you know. And, of course, he had the advantage of kind of being an early adopter. So, I mean, one of the one of the things with Facebook is it's, it's it is def or I mean, um, YouTube is on top of everything else. It's painfully hard to break in, <laughs> you know. You know, because, you know. And to top it all off, of course, the people that did break in, half of them are turning out to be sort of antisocial weirdos. Like, uh, you know. Like, hey, wonderful, everybody. You know, we, 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 we threw our eggs into the PewDiePie basket. See how that worked out for us, you know. And, uh. 
So there we go. Okay. And uh, we'll just... Uh, There we go. Ah, stupid last dot. Yeah, there we go. Yay. Uh, do you use a tablet for drawing, or do you just have enough patience for skills at mouse? Um, I'm, I'm using uh, a tablet. Um, it's an uh, Intuos Art. I couldn't tell you the exact um, uh, model number, but it, it, yeah, it's an Intuos Art Wacom tablet, and uh, yeah, I definitely... like. There's a couple things I'll do with a mouse. Like, I really should have been doing all my shading with the mouse just to keep my hand from cramping, but... You know, but yeah, no, I I certainly do not have the patience to try to do all this with a. With a mouse, I would not even attempt it. <laughs> but yeah. That said, this tablet, uh, like, it's not the problem of the tablet. The tablet's actually, like, dang near brand new. Um, and I actually got this with uh, donation money. Thanks again, Spunky117. He is uh, the person that donated the money that helped me get the tablet. Um, but, uh, you know, the problem is my computer is butt, and it, it likes to do sort of we weird random things to me all the time, so... It makes sort of doing things a pain, and that's why I wasn't able to draw for a long time, uh, was because of, uh, I had to fix some stuff in the computer just to get it working as well as it works now, which is, you know, still kind of butt, but it, at least it's functional. All right, there, and then, uh. See, now it wants to start drawing lines. Okay. Okay, texture that up a skosh, now get rid of the lines, hush your butt, Brock, that's my dog, alright, let's get a uh, bigger brush going, uh, uh, no, too big, let's see how tens work, yeah, there we go. I'm duck on it. Can't tap too fast, otherwise it's going to think I want to draw a line because this computer is doofy like that. Digital art. Always better to make when using a tablet. Mouse is not impossible. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Bobkins, how you doing? Looks great. Wish I had more time to stay and watch, but I just want to say good work and have a nice weekend. Peace out. You as well. Thank you very much for popping your head in real quick to check this out, man. I am uh, finally got my equipment squared away to a point where I can actually do these streams again. Still a little on the painful side, but uh, it is what it is. So, um, But yeah, thanks for stopping through. Duck on it. There. Boom. Bam. Boop. Boom. Bam. Dookie dookie do. Alright. And then, um, let me see if I have a sort of a speckly brush that uh, will help me out here. Uh, airbrush. Speckledies. And. And that would be my door. One second.
please fund the schools so they can stop coming to Brock, be quiet! Somebody please fund these public schools so that they stop coming to my door and asking to buy candy. Alright, and... Give the heart some nice texture there. think yeah, there we go makes that heart look all bumpy it's awesome all right <laughs> all right let's take a zoom out and see what we're looking at here all right there it is he's looking good I may want to thicken up some of those lines there. I mean, I'm obviously, a lot of that problem, a lot of the problems I'm having right now with perspective and stuff, are going to help uh, be helped out with some some more shading. Um, but uh, I mean, we're off to a great, great start here. Um, you know, make the heart red. I mean, it's going to stand out on its own pretty well. Um, and then you got all this sort of stuff here in the, you know, like the ribs are going to have to be darker than the arms. So to really sell that the arms are more forward than the ribs, you know, that'll work very well. Um, the other thing to keep in mind, again, is that, um, you know, again, let's get our, let's get our JR Crash dude here. Um, you know, he's going to be standing in front of Psychotron, uh, you know, and actually, I, I think now we're just about at a point where um, I can move that forward. I mean, I'm not going to right now, but... Um, yeah, he's just going to be forward enough, I think. Whoops. Yeah, all right. Actually, let's uh, let's just take a quick look at it. Let's see what happens. Uh, we need to make that disappear. Yeah. So, I mean, there's, there's sort of what that's going to look like there. Um, and, uh, you know, and then we're going to have the... the, the, the the mech is going to be over here. We'll have a jet flying behind him, kind of thing. Um, I still got to do the um, the shoulder wires thing to really sell what's going on there. But I mean, really, what has to happen is like some some heavy shading here, and yeah, that's going to be sexy. That's going to be super sexy. All right, so so what I need to do though is before I get too far here, I need to. There we go, and get my blue pencil back up to remind myself I still need to do those stringy bits. And those are going to be easy. I'm probably just going to do those in shadow as well uh, to, to kind of keep with that theme. But uh, this is where I do have to wrap things up here because I do need to start making dinner for my family here. Um, but I do want to thank everybody that checked in with me here. Um, let's uh, just go ahead and... Uh, just uh, give ourselves a nice little outro screen here so that I, I have it. And uh, there we are. So thank you, everybody, once again for joining me today. I really do appreciate it and hope you have a wonderful, pleasant rest of your day. If you are interested in having me draw something for you, please reach out to me. Um, you can, uh, you'll see it scrolling by on the page on my uh, screen right now. It says Portraits by Z Manzilla. You can find that over on Facebook.com slash Portraits by Zilla, I believe it is. Yep, Portraits by Zilla. So visit me at Facebook.com slash Portraits by Zilla for more information about how you can commission a piece of work from me. You know, if you're if the only thing you're worried about is money, just reach out to me anyway. We'll, we'll have that discussion, you know. Um, you know, my, my, my only rule is I can't work for free. But, you know, you'll, you'll be amazed what, what counts as trade in this wonderful world. So, you know, reach out to me there. Um, also, please have a look at my work over at Zazzle.com slash Drawn Butter. Uh, I'm going to, you know, I do, uh, you know, pretty much anything I sell over there. If you, if you, you want it on a t-shirt, a mug, whatever you want, go ahead and let me know and I'll, I'll get it set up for you. And, uh, of course, please, uh, 
don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Liz, um, <laughs> did, did I say you suck at Cuphead? Oh, my God, Liz. First of all, you're late. Second of all, <laughs> um, what I actually said was, why do you need to... Why, why you, The only reason you watch me play Cuphead on Twitch is out of charity, because why would you need to watch me suck at Cuphead when you could just as easily suck at Cuphead on your own? Now, you may be very good at Cuphead, for all I know, but... The truth is, if you wanted to suck, you certainly could. You wouldn't need to watch me suck to know how to suck. You could suck on your own. But you don't necessarily suck. I haven't watched you play yet. So I'll someday I'll watch and, uh, and then tell you you suck. <laughs> anyway, um, again, this has been Z Manzilla. Thanks for watching me draw Psychotron uh, and, uh, and, and tease Liz just a little. But um, just got finished streaming Cuphead. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to actually turn on alerts then, because I have not been getting any alerts indicating that. Uh, of course, it could just be as simple as I don't have you followed yet. But um, here I am filling my my outro with all of this uh, information here that doesn't need to be there. So, um, yeah. Thanks again, everybody, for watching, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Hopefully, I will see you all again real soon, because uh, it does look like I'll be able to do these drawing streams more often. Thanks again, Zanaya. Later. Bye, Liz. Bye, Bopkins. Bye, David Alcarez. Bye, everybody else that uh, has been watching me. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>